Okay, in this video I will show you how context matches work in MemoQ 6.2. I will be translating these two sample documents here and I made a short introduction video about them and you can find the link in the description field below. So let's switch to MemoQ and here I will create a new project that I will call Google ENFR. It's uh, English and French. Next, I will now import the first document I want to translate, which is this one. And next, and now I will create a new TM. I will also call it uh, Google ENFR. And uh, what is important here is to have uh, use context tick and allow multiple translations unticked. These are the default values, so no problem. Okay. And next, and I won't be using term base, so I can start opening for translation. And I will quickly translate this first document. And now I have uh, translated all nine segments in this document and they have been confirmed and sent to the TM. So I'll go back to project home and now I will import my second document, this one. I will open it for translation. And instead of translating it interactively, I will use the pre-translate function. So I will go to operations, pre-translate. Here I can select uh, the kind of matches that I want to get uh, via pre-translation. Pre so I will choose exact matches and under the confirm lock tab, I can select what kind of uh, rows I want to lock according to the match rate. So I want to lock only exact matches with context and I will tick this uh, setting here, make rows locked. So this means that uh, after pre-translation, context matches will be confirmed and locked. So I press on OK. And now MemoQ has pre-translated. And I can see that the first and second segments were context matches, so 101%. They were confirmed and locked as we had selected uh, in the pre-translate uh, dialog box. And the same with uh, segment 6 and 9, they are also context uh, matches. So we have here identical results with uh, Hardsome Translation Studio and also very similar to uh, Deja Vu X2. The only difference with uh, Deja Vu is that the last segment was not considered uh, a context match by Deja Vu and it is a context match according to MemoQ and Hardsome. But the definition of uh, context match is stricter in MemoQ and Deja Vu and Hardsome than, for instance, in Studio, for which an identical preceding segment is sufficient. And uh, in other tools, you need to have both same preceding segment and same following segment. What I can do in MemoQ, I can sort the segments by match rate, so I can select match rate higher first, so this means I can isolate the context matches and it can be quite handy if uh, I have a very long document with a lot of uh, context matches. So now I can check the exact matches 100% in a block like this. If they are all okay, I can confirm them. And I only have uh, this one segment uh, which uh, was not in the TM, so I have to translate it from scratch. And I can confirm it and now I can revert to no sorting. So that is the natural order. So there you have it, context matches in MemoQ Translator Pro. Uh, one thing which uh, is interesting to know is that there is a, another function which could have been used here and it is called xtranslate. So it can, it can be found under the operations menu, xtranslate here. And uh, I may make a separate video about it a bit later because it's a very interesting feature. You may also be interested to have a look at the videos I made about other tools that support context matches. So I made videos about uh, SDL Trader Studio, Deja Vu X2 Professional, Hardsome Translation Studio, Swordfish 3 and Cafetran Expresso.
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.